inside the ruin was a single stone that would change the course of our history forever. On the stone was etched a galactic map and a single word more ancient than the clans themselves. Igara, our home. Right, well, we are doing a spacey score on Homeworld and Journey to Hygara. Um, space theme and, of course, a game theme, which I'm not familiar with. I haven't played this game. A lot of people have, of course. It's a very popular game for those of you out there that have. Uh, but it's space right it's a good space theme table so many pimple machines are orientated around one so let's kick into this and see how she plays oh whoops i'm supposed to do a light ball touch here shoot the lip lane for the skill shot i've gone to i oh, know i should be okay maybe i can oh, no didn't get it Now straight away, the feeling of this table is of a bit of a wide body. Pick up those pieces, rather bizarre ramp, that one there in the middle. And it looks a little weird as well in cabinet mode because it looks so flat. The depth of 3D doesn't translate very well actually so far looking at this table. It looks all a little flat. Okay, that was, that was a bit janky on my behalf. Okay, so lightly, lightly. It's still too heavy. <laughs> still too heavy, guys. Radio. Oh, save still, which was nice. Okay, and start collecting those pieces in there. The physics seem a little ping pongy again on this table. We'll see how that feeling progresses. Pick up all these pieces, two more to get in there. So I've just pinged out of there. Very quick going around that slingshot. The music's not doing much. I do feel like I'm, you know, flying around on one of those spaceships with some rather spacey music, guys, but um, it's not very dynamic. Okay, we've punched those. The campaign mission is now lit. Carrier ball lock. Okay. Turn to Diamond Shoals Garden. I don't know which ones we should do here. Let's go for the graveyard. Hey, now that's a nice effect. Here we go, switching it up. Shoot out all the auto guns between the floating junk. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right. Where are the guns? Oh, yeah. yeah. Is that, the, is that them in the red? Oh, damn. damn. Now that's cool. That is very cool. Okay, I'm trying to get this. Oh, and they were supposed to go up the ramp. Oh, yeah, no, I got it. Got the skill shot that time. Well, it looks like the modes are where it's at. I 
feel like I one third carrier. I feel like I want to uh, go in the middle again and light up one of those modes. Hey! Just, just a little bit unrealistic with the ball movement there again. Okay, well, some nice effects. I think we're going to have to play this again. This, might, this table might be a little, oh, too hard. It might be a little bit of a sleeper. But it's sort of a bit strange because the, the build up at the start here is a little bland. But certainly those mission modes look interesting. And even filling this up is sort of a bit of a, a bit of a chore. shots I missed that that actually needed a little bit more time on the DMD those, uh, well that's a nice little DMD graphic that was until it went out I think some of those messages were a little a little short-lived even though the messages themselves went long I don't think they're long enough in terms of time ah I've gone too hard again killing me I love to have a real plunger for those sort of shots in the middle here. Okay, there we go. Alright, so let's do the chapel one this time. Let's try that out. We're going into this again, which is cool. Okay, send out vessels to destroy the drive asteroid. Okay, I missed that. Oh, don't! Don't! Don't, Greg! Don't! No! No! Damn you! Oh, damn you. That's that's actually really brutal too, because if you do just get out like that, um, what, you got to start again with this thing? That's disappointing. Just when you want Zen to be generous on the balls, <laughs> and the modes are not on this table. Oh, do I want to fill all these up? What else can I do on this table? I'd be just moving around, going around these... Uh, these outer ramps, which I can't hit. Wow, that was just light. Come on, girl. come on. Well, that went, that went up there way. Whoa, that's like way. That's like old Zen physics. It's too easy. Good thing is, is that the newer tables are all all really good. You know, all the first ones we've reviewed in this, this series so far, guys, have all hit the eight on the physics. And I was thinking that maybe they got them consistent all the way through, but it doesn't look that way. And we're game over again. All right, well, we're going to have to stop it there, which may be a little disservice to the table because I think there's a little more in it when you get into the modes but um you can sort of see what's going on there and yeah this uh this particular very interesting ramp thing here that it goes up and down it doesn't translate well when it's flat all right let's let's talk about this let's start off with the overall theme of the table clearly it's off a game which i'm not familiar with but again translating it into a pinball and, and the effectiveness of that of that look it's a space theme there's so many space theme pinballs you know it's a theme that works 
um, shooting stuff around in a space environment is, is good. It's just not that original, so I'm going to give it a 7 in terms of that. Uh, atmosphere, it's got an atmosphere. It's a little dull. It's a little dull. I do feel like I'm out on a spaceship, though, sort of. It has, so it has got that atmosphere, so I can't be too critical there. But, yeah, it's just a little bit one-dimensional in the atmosphere, so I'm going to give that a 7. Uh, the layout realism, as I said, this seems like a bit of a wide body type layout. The ramps are a little bit, a little bit sort of like some of a couple of Len's very older tables, which didn't really look like a real pinball table. Um, I mean, it's got the elements of it, guys, but I just don't, it doesn't appeal to me as like something that I'd, I'd really want in a real pin for, for some reason. So I think it's going to get a six on that. <clears throat> the table artwork, pretty sparse. It's, it's again, well done. And there's some nice elements here, don't get me wrong. Always when I mark art down, I don't want to um, take away from the, the effort that's gone into all these tables. And it's still very, very good. But yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty plain uh, across the board here. Pretty sort of flattish and not very interesting right in 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 here suits it but yeah look, look guys let's leave that at a five i think for for the artwork uh the animations okay those so are the cool anima animations with the things flying you know the, the things zipping across the almost like hollow deck type thing but um you've got a few of these going on i don't know it's it's to me it's not super amazing um the other thing might get more of an X factor, those changes in the mode. So I think I think this is about a six, and that might be a little generous. Uh, graphical effects, again, nothing really amazing there that's blowing me away as I'm firing around the table. I'd have to probably drop that down. I think it's a four on the animation effects. They're not not great on this on this table, other than the sort of the, that main mode. But that's going to get a bit of an X factor side of things. So. Um, the lighting, lighting generally, is it's okay. It does make the table a little, again, a little flat, which is not good in cabinet mode. It's, yeah, it's just not a lot going on. It really doesn't get a sense of depth in this table at all. This probably looks very different when you're using, playing it in desktop mode and you get a real sense of the height of the ramps and all the rest of it. You just don't. Um, so, yeah, lighting... I think it's a six in this table. Um, DMD, DMD was quite nice. The, the biggest problem was that, that I detected there was a whole load of those messages coming up and just flashing away too quickly, which was a shame. It's, it's nice and clear. Uh, it had some reasonably good animations in there. It's in the new sort of format. So I don't want to mark it down too much just for those messages. It's just a slow reader, guys. So look, we'll give the DMD an eight. We're probably just being just a little tad generous there, but I'll give it an eight. The music, the music is a little bit uninspiring. It's suitable, but it's a bit uninspiring. You know, it's, it's entertainment, guys. You know, we're here to play pinball and, and really get into the game and the music needs to help that. It doesn't, so it's not bad music. It's just not good music for pinball. Um, it's, it's trying to get into the theme though, so. It's just one of those things, so, you know, we're, we're, we're playing pinball, we're not watching a movie, so I'm going to mark the music down on that basis, and uh, it's going to get a six. The sound effects uh, were okay, um, they weren't mind, you know, bending in terms of like, oh, these are awesome, and this is great, and sort of fit in there, was a little bit anemic. I'm going to give the sound effects a six. Um, call outs, call outs and the, the little messaging at the start seemed to be pretty nice, certainly didn't get in your way. <clears throat> I think we're still looking mid range uh, here <coughs> around about a seven. <clears throat> the actual flow of the table, um, again, this one's a little bit uh, impacted by the, <clears throat> the physics. So the flow seems like things fly around a lot, but it's too easy getting these balls up the ramps and I don't know the flow didn't it just didn't feel really really nice uh, from that point of view I'm going to give it a I'll give it a seven and that's again probably being a little bit generous 
Um, the shot interest was really wanting to get back into the mode and therefore having to complete this the circular thing here with a research ship I think it is and that just got a little bit monotonous really didn't go off and start exploring some other stuff again maybe I haven't you know gone out and explored everything but that's part of the challenge with a good table guys it really should make you want to walk around and, and, and go for other shots so yeah it's not going to get high on the shot interest it's uh it's probably a five uh, challenge a little bit devoid of a challenge feel to it as well it um didn't i mean yeah again a little bit let down with the physics amazing how much the physics actually impact the challenge score because i think it's going to be the same here the challenge on this is is probably about a five the physics feel so as i've said it's not good it's ping pongy um that's very let down by that it's gonna be jump down to a five on this table guys again a real shame uh, it needs to be tightened up and the ball made heavier and the, it's just pinging around uh, so from a fun factor perspective not the fun <laughs> it's not fun it's actually not the only wow factor is in the in the mode change but you know that's not in the fun factor area per se so it's going to be low it's going to be a three on the fun factor so it's not very fun and therefore replayability am i going to come back to this table probably not you know the only thing i'd come back to is probably just check out all the modes but it's just too it's so much of a grind to get there and with the physics being a bit wonky you know again guys it's just a bit of a shame because some of these are some of these key areas are the areas that really make a good table so uh, but hopefully, you know, Zen can take some of this feedback and the feedback of your own. And again, I'd really like to understand your your feelings on this table, guys, especially when I mark them low. It's just my opinion, right? But um, yeah, for me, uh, replayability is uh, is is low. Um, all right, so that leaves us with. Um, yeah, replayability, is, is, it, it would be a, a four. Yeah, it would be a four. So that leaves us with the Spacey's X Factor. It does have a bit of an X Factor when you're going into those modes. Um, I didn't see enough of it, but it's going to get a little bit of a bump here. And uh, it seemed to be something fairly unique there with the change of the table. It was sort of, a, it was a cool effect. So I'm going to give this a Spacey's X Factor of four guys. So that takes us to a Spacey's score for Homeworld. And we can see how that ranks with the rest there, guys. If we've got more tables to do. Please like and subscribe and definitely comment um, against this, especially against some of the harsher things that I've said. Been too harsh? Let me know if you like this table. Let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'm missing something. Anyway, guys, until next time, keep flipping. Ciao for now.